All right, guys, we've got a brand new unboxing or an uncrating this time around. We've got a Camino. We actually have two of these guys, but we're starting with this one because why, Kevin? It's broken. No, it's not broken. It fell off the back of a truck, so we yeah. have to inspect for damage. So on the way over to, uh, to our lab from theirs, it literally took a nosedive off the back of a, uh, of a truck's bay and uh, it took the little forklift dude with it, which was pretty interesting. I would say the forklift took this with it, but semantics. Either way, they went in tandem over the side of the truck, and now we've got a busted uh, impact warning alert on that side. Uh, we've got one over here too, but this one's okay. So yeah. uh, we'll have to see. So basically, we just need to hack this thing open and see what has happened. If you don't know Camino, though, this is a... A uh, company that makes wonderful liquid-cooled servers. Well, really workstations that can be tipped on their side to be servers. Or I guess they've got some servers, too. Yes, this was tipped on its side. This was tipped onto its side and rolled over. But they have uh, two systems that they've sent us. We've got another one on the floor over there we'll get to uh, a little bit later. This one is the A4 or the uh, A100? No, this is the uh, 640-90s. Okay, so this one's got the 640-90s in it, we think. Kevin, check the paperwork. The other one's got four A100s, all liquid-cooled. So what we're really excited about is to run some serious workloads against these and see just how quiet they are in the lab. Yes, I've heard that the A100 is a little bit more spicy than this one, but uh, we'll see. All right, so we've got this thing here. Let's start the uncrating. The straps were actually on it in the photo when it jumped off the side of the truck, so. Well, yeah, the, I have no idea why the pallet left on this one because it's not on the other guy. No, well, I think it had feet on the pallet at one point that uh, no longer exist. Uh, and the straps, I thought, were an after fact add-on to, uh, to protect ah. the box. But uh, what are you doing there, buddy? This strap has seen better days. You've seen better days. Yes, I have. <laughs> Children will do that. All right. Got All right. That one. One strap down. Do you remember that box we had years ago that uh, the person told us to go to an Ace Hardware to get the bo uh, the straps before sending it back? Okay, right, so this is off. And now we do our unboxing with a slightly different tool. Yeah, so it's got the... That's not quiet. I can barely hear myself think. Good thing there's only four more. Uh, this, I got this, it's light. Yeah. Ooh, it's a box. Where's my knife? All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So they sent us uh, some fancy water to get in case you get thirsty. Why is there a sport TV bottle remote? for hydration? Uh, I'm confused by that. Yeah. TV remote, power cables, rails. What else we got in here? Now the good news is, if we're worried about damage, oops, there's nothing looking at this system that looks damaged. Now this has been around the block and it's been to trade shows and it's been uh, reviewed, but... Uh, it's pretty tight in there. There's not a lot of slop for it to move around, so... No, there's no wiggle in here at all. And fairly optimistic. So on an air-cooled platform, you're going to have gigantic heat sinks on a graphics card going to water-cooled. It's going to be thinner. Uh, there's less mass to uh, really shift around. So maybe we lucked out. What's the plan? We're going to get this thing out, power it on, and see if it boots and sees everything? Because well, that's the only I, way we'll really know, right? <laughs> that method could have the outcome of you turn it on and water starts spraying out. So I prefer getting this thing out onto the table, and then from there we can uh, figure out... Oh, get it onto damage. the table. I don't want to boot it from within the box. Although if it leaks water, that's probably yeah. a better place to do it. All right, let's figure out how to get this thing out. It would have been probably easier doing this from the floor and lifting up. Okay. I think we should have consulted the how to safely unpack it before we unpacked it. It says at least two people are required to unpack and carry the device. The system's pre-filled. Fluid included in the kit is necessary to refill the device in the future. All right, so otherwise... What if it's broken We should open? be good. 
So let's take a crack at this. This is definitely the 44090, or sorry, this is definitely the 640 by uh, 40 by 90. 4090 system, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six GPUs back down the side, which is really funny to look at. Single wide 4090s is not something that in my mind should make sense, but uh, that's exactly how it is here because they've removed all the plastic and, uh, and silly lights and, uh, and turned it into uh, uh, a very, very, very thin single wide GPU. Pull back. Yeah. Wow. So it's yeah. black. Yes. <laughs> and so the support bar that they have here along with these, yeah. there is no movement whatsoever on that. So even no, this thing there's... flipped off the back of a truck. Did it, it, tri was did it triple Lindy and uh, survive the day? I mean, this Although, thing looks really good. So my hunch is that this bend right here is not stock right so i kind of wonder is this the one that has the uh the unique storage mounted to the bottom i think the storage is underneath yes according to the manual although you know i think linus saw this box at one point in time so a bend on that fan bracket wouldn't be that surprising would it uh he tends to break things yes right okay let's talk about the cool stuff and then figure out if this thing works the hoses are massive. Yeah, they have nice quick connect uh, fitting or quick disconnect fittings. They connect uh, quickly too. Yeah, um, dripless connections. I mean, of course. Nice manifold uh, setup. We've seen similar designs on um, well the HP or we've seen similar designs on one of the Dell platforms right. uh, recently. Yep. Um, Cold yeah. plate here, full DRAM slots. So I guess what we should note that obviously the CPU is getting liquid cooled and. The GPUs are uh, are also getting liquid cooled as part of this. It looks setup. like the pump is right here. Radi so, pump radiator here or radiator in the front fans. I think that is pump right there. Okay, that must be uh, reservoir. Oh yeah, there's a little clear panel here. This guy's got the LCD readout on uh, on codes. Um, yeah, so nice, massive double fan setup on the uh, radiator. I'm honestly curious if this dude is going to uh, leak or have any other issues at uh, turning on, but... There's only one way to find out. Well, yes. Yeah, so the surprising thing is, why is this section bent when the others were not? Unless something maybe... This could have been bent a while ago. Who knows? Yeah. So, should we power it on the desk? Well, if you're concerned that this may spring a leak due to shipping damage... Do you think powering it on the desk is better or tossing it in the rack? Um, I'd prefer not having to clean the glycol out of the rack. Okay, let's see if this thing works from a single power connection. And these are handy. It's almost like built-in extension cables. It's right. completely safe. It's better than the floor fan you were using the other day. Yeah. Well, it beeped. The beeps could be the fact that it doesn't have all four power supplies Well, connected. it just it just blipped and, uh, and turned green a little bit. How about we feed it some more power? All right, so we've moved the system, got dragged uh, four power cables over here, so we're near the rack but not in the rack. Before you do that, though, when you unplug the one before, you said something. What would you say? Something about the capacitor? The capacitor held up for was a couple of seconds while the massive fan was spinning up, so yeah. good job. <laughs> good job. All right, so we're gonna make some noise now. We know it's gonna start beeping after the first one goes in. And uh, Kevin does have all four power supplies. And of course, we've left the lid off so that we can identify any sort of emergencies that may have occurred or been caused by the shipping. And so it's doing its spin up. What do you see? It'd be fun if a carrot to stick in the fan. Why don't you try your fingertip? And it looks like every time that the system boots up, it goes through a self check. This little LC display is actually pretty cool. We'll let it do its thing, but it has all sorts of uh, telemetry data, air temperature, coolant temp, uh, fan speed, all sorts of good stuff that we'll look at a little bit more as we get through this. It's not beeping anymore, which is good. Kevin's... So I think before it runs through its uh, self-test, confirms it can power on, and yep. then you allow, it allows you to power it on. Okay. I see some other blinky lights, things that look to be green in here. What have you done? You hit go? It said to press in both buttons to turn it on. 
Okay, so we've pressed in both buttons to turn it on. So far, so good. It looks like it's an Asus board underneath. I see a couple of the M.2 bays. I know there's additional storage bays in these systems that are maybe, I think it's under here, under the fans. Um, yeah, we. The oh, you can kind layout. of see some cages or something. Oh, no, wait, that's the power supplies. I don't know where they are. Yeah, the well, manual is pretty fun on its layout. It was a um, tray underneath the motherboard region, I believe, that uh, one of the areas. Well, we'll, back. we'll see what else we can squeeze in here for storage. And, yeah, you can't really see the monitor off center at the moment, but it's going through its self checks before it'll do anything. Yeah, and I was telling you before, this is, I'm upside down and sideways, but it's got all sorts of telemetry on the pumps and fans and cooling system. Ooh, total runtime, seven days. Well, it's only had seven days of existence, and it's already been smashed. Man, to be only a week old with $12,000 of GPUs in you before they're modified. I'd say it cost more than 12000 based on... Just the GPUs themselves. Well, oh, yeah, before modification. Right. To, to take a, a header off the back of a box truck is a sad way to start life. Well, it looks like it has all the RAM and everything looks good, so let's see if it posts. All right. I don't think there's anything to be worried about. I'm pretty convinced that that uh, shipping container did the uh, job it was paid to do. Although someone's going to have to invest in a new warning shock sensor. And it appears to have a bunch of installed. Even better. All right, so we've got everything to boot. The Ubuntu came up that was in it on uh, on its image. We may switch that out and, and try something else. No alarms, no bells, no leaks, most importantly. Yes, no leaks. And we did mess around the connectors. They are dripless fittings, which are pretty cool. I mean, you're not going to see that. Actually, we didn't even see that in a uh, recent HP server we uh, looked at. But no, that was a closed, fully closed loop, but not quite as serviceable as, as this is. Yeah. So we're going to put this back together, and actually we've got a really fun plan for what we were going to do with this. My thought, and I know we talked about it a little bit. And I Minecraft don't, server? You could do that if you want, but my thought is we create six VMs on this machine. One for each GPU, and we share them with our Discord members and let them play around on 4090s. We could probably do that. I mean, it has 512 gig RAM, so... We'll so what do you think? You want to play around on this uh, Camino server? Well... Join the Discord and find out how you can participate. But for now, we're going to get this thing back together. I guess just the lid's the only thing that's missing. Maybe get it in the rack since we trust it now to not uh, a little bit, yeah. leak on us. And uh, start the benchmarking and, and playing process. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with the same thing, or slightly same thing, with the uh, Quad A100 system in our next uncrating. A yes. new series of uncrating. Thanks for <laughs> tuning in.